think he targeted that medic because he had to go past a couple of marines. It definitely was not a hold position attack. It was looked like a targeted attack. Um, uh, Hydro's den is now up, so he's going to have lurkers pretty soon. And, and Flash does not have the marines to move out right now. Normally, at, at this point, the, the, the Terran's going to want to have, have enough of an army built up that they can start pushing out. And it looks like Flash is tr kind of toying with that idea, trying to move down that ramp. Now I'm waiting for another round of reinforcements, and he's just, and uh, Stim is obviously upgraded now. He's pushing out a little bit here now, but I don't know if he has enough forces to actually put any pressure on. He's he's hoping to try and get Zero to at least spend some money on, on uh, sunken colonies or something like that, but I think Zero, with a squad of mutas, he's got plus one armor, which is beautiful, which works really, just really nicely against... Um, against medic marines especially if the medic marines aren't upgraded can make all the difference in the world um i haven't seen if he if uh, flash does have any upgrades on his marines there um and so he, he with a group of lings going in as well he could theoretically take out this group of medic marines and then be in a huge 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 lead he's got his fourth base going up now so if he can stop this pressure push here um this pressure push then he's going to be in really really good shape we've got hydras out which means the lurkers are, are almost done researching here. Flash, though, pushing in towards that fourth base. Um, is he going to try and move in? Does he think he has enough of it? We need some lings. Zero needs some lings to go in with those mutalists there. He picks off a single marine beautifully without, without taking much of a hit. Um, four or five medics in the mix now, though, so, so that's not much of an issue. There are lurkers morphing right now. Are they going to morph in time, though? Flash is about to move down the ramp. The mutalist having to fall back. There's too many marines there. He's trying to move. No! He's having to fall back to deal with these mutalists one more time while the lurkers are morphing. Pops a Hydralis. The Lurkers are about to finish morphing. Are they going to morph in time? The Mutalists have to stop them from killing the Lurkers, but no, he's probably going to target the Lurkers as soon as they pop. The Lurkers pop! The Lurkers burrow! The Marines are occupied with the Mutalists. The Lurkers burrow, and the Lurkers are able to help finish off the last few Medic Marines. So Flash is pushed, doing no damage, and Zero is actually in a hugely good position right now. Um, he, Flash is setting up his racks, getting his macro going, so that is not good for Zero, obviously. Um, but um, Zero is in, definitely in a strong, strong position here. Um, he, I mean, he's got four bases now to Flash is two. He's got a, a map control. He's still got most of his mutas. He didn't even have to sack his mutas um, to try and uh, pull that attack off. And now he's going to be attacking these turrets up towards the high ground, uh, using his mutas actually to spot for the lurkers there. Nicely done. He's going to, be able to take out the turrets, and that's actually going to open it up for even more Mutalist Karas. Now, the vessels are on route. There's, there's a tank out now, and if he can pick off that tank, that would be beautiful. That's something that Zero loves to do, is run in and pick stuff off like that. Like, run a couple Scourge in and pick off the Corsair while it's running to rally. Run in his Mutas and pick off the tank, stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> but instead, he's going to keep Mutalist Karasing. And <laughs> Flash, where's Flash's macro? He, he should have tons of Marines by now, but he doesn't. Um, I don't know where Flash's army is exactly. He doesn't have that many Marines at the moment. Um, and, uh, wow, and Zero has got his Queen's Nest going as well. Oh, I hope we see some Queen's. Uh, I don't think I don't think uh, Zero can afford any shenaniganry like that, though, against a player like Flash. Vessels are going to be out momentarily, um, probably with a Radiant already upgraded. Siege mode goes down. He's going to be able to hit those Lurkers. The Lurkers are going to have to fall back. But in the meantime... Zero has just done a ton of harassment to this location, and beautiful move by Flash there, running in while the Lurkers were running away, picking one off with the Marines as well, making sure it didn't get out of uh, siege range without uh, without dying. And, um, <clears throat> well, then it got out of siege range, because it was dead. And by the way, I just want to give uh, a shout-out to um, Wogi. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, and uh, I'm sorry for pronouncing it wrong again last time. So, Wogi, uh, shout-out to you. Um, yes. Anyway, moving on. Uh, so here we go. The uh, Mutalists running and doing some more harassment. Usually you would not see Mutalists play harassment this late in the game. This is really surprising to see him able to put this much pressure on with just these Mutalists. And he hasn't had to make a whole lot either. Normally to keep up this kind of harass, you're going to have to make a lot of them. And, uh, and Zero has not had to make a lot of them. So he's been able to make it, spend his larva on lurkers and links. There's a huge army of lurkers and links. I don't I think it's a mistake to try and bust off that ramp. I think Flash is going to be able to hold that ramp. He's going to try and go around to the top, though. Flash sees the lurkers. He's going to try and run after them. Nicely done by, by Zero. That was actually a beautiful move. Burrowing the far lurkers as the near lurkers continued to run away so that he could not pursue and not even get in the, and uh, kill off one of the uh, lurkers there. And now the radiates are out. Only a single vessel is what it looks like. He may have a second irradiate in the bank there. Scourge already out in preparation for that, though. Oh, it looks like... 
running carelessly into that marine group, he's going to lose some of his, his um, mulisks, but uh, those mulisks have more than made up for their, their cost uh, in the long run here because they have done so much damage, so much harassment. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so losing a few at this point, he's still ahead. And a huge group of lurkers and lings here. If he goes in with all those at once, if he can 1A, 2A, 3A, 4A, 5A, 6A, 7A, 8A, because he has so many units there, he's going to have to use most of his hockeys if he's going to A move them all at once. And he can just do so much damage. The lurkers going in. A few of them are probably going to die if he targets them. Flash trying to spread out his marines, but they're pinned against the wall. They're pinned against the wall, and the lurkers slaughter half the marines against the wall. More lurkers come over the other side. Zerglings as well. The mutalists in the mix as well. He saves most of his mutalists as well. Flash is in huge trouble here. Oh, Scourge Muta picks off a, a science vessel as well. Wow. Oh, man. And Flash had most of his army slaughtered there. Flash is able to macro like a fiend and build up huge armies in almost no time, but his entire army that he's been building up for the last few minutes has just gone down. A group of lurkers going to protect that low ramp while another group of lurkers and lings goes up the high ramp. Whoa, he's going to be careful. He's going to fall back a little bit. Again, another nice move, burrowing the far lurkers um, while, uh, uh, while uh, um, running the, the near lurkers away from the marines. A beautiful move there. Um... It's something that actually, I don't know if I, well, I'm sure I've seen it before, but it's something that programmers don't do a lot, and uh, it's a really nice bit of micro to do. Um, anyway, so, yeah, Defilers are out now as well, and a bunch of Lurkers attacking <laughs> this not-quite-yet-built command center. He's not even going to be able to mine at that command center. He may even lift it off immediately when it's done building just to keep it out of harm's way until he can get this location secured. Uh, we may see him, in fact, lift it and then do some attacking with those uh, stim attacks, try and spread out his marines. He probably could, if he irradiates a couple of those guys, um, take out that group of lurkers with those marines. Um, but then again, he does have the high ground, which is really good. And now this, the defilers have consumed already. He's going to try and go in from the low ground. Actually, distract him on the side. He's probably going to go in from the top as well, is what I'm thinking. He, but he won't need to. The swarm, there's no fire bats in the mix. Not enough tanks. Only a few. And there he goes in from the high ground as well. Swarm going down on both sides. Flashes army trapped between swarmed. Swarmed lurkers. There's actually, it looks like there's not many lurkers in that low ground swarm, but now more coming in from the side. Flash is in huge, huge trouble here. We may see Flash actually losing one. <laughs> Jer's GG from Flash. Flash pinned in with lurker swarm is forced to GG and Zero has taken a game off of Flash. Yes. Go Zero. Hopefully, you know, completely honest, I don't expect him to win game three and take the series, but wow. That was awesome play. He just schooled the master of TVZ, and he looks happy about it. That is an insane... I mean, that hopefully that at least boosts his confidence after that loss to movie. Anyways, let's move on to game three. Hopefully this excitement will continue on. GG.